and um, says I'm live, so namaste. Uh, I'm not really back. I am just uh, leaving the condo that we've been at for the retreat. So Akasha here, Nanakasha, I see they put up a new thing here. And um, what I would like to do right now with you is celebrate this full moon eclipse that we're in the middle of. So I've been sharing a lot of pictures of the full moon rising, especially exquisite last night. I don't normally travel on the eclipse, so I had planned to go home tomorrow. Everybody from the retreat went home tomorrow. And there's these trails of light of these exquisite women who came here and went deep. I mean, we had fun. We did ceremony. <coughs> Excuse me. We did ceremony. We um, we have. Uh, we went into Shibalba, the underworld or the womb of the mother, literally into caves with water. And in the water, I'm trying to give you a little bit better. Uh, maybe I should be over here. And um, <clears throat> that's probably a little better. No, nope. me here, me here, me here. Uh, and so I'm still here. I'm full of the energy. They kept telling me yesterday, no, 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 don't leave. And I kept saying, but I don't want to travel on the eclipse. And finally, I could really feel that that was the correct energy. So listen to yourself and do protect yourself in the sense of don't do a lot of crazy stuff on the eclipse because eclipses are a huge portal, a huge transformation. And we have a full moon, which is always amplifying everything, illuminating everything. And it's the fruits of your labor. So depending on the energies, this is a Libra full moon. And Libra is that you know wanting everyone to be happy and finding balance and harmony so you're going to be able to bring that energy in and what we've been going through physically here emotionally we've been going into our other lives we've been going to ancient sites activating the codes bringing them into our bodies ingesting the cacao goddess the spirit of the goddess the spirit of love the spirit of health and heart and it's also, uh, I just ate one from our altar, one of our roasted cacao seeds that we put on our altars, we offer at our sacred sites, we also take crystals, and we have ingested that. Now it is a part of who we are. We're connected to the dolphins or to the land or the temples and all of the waters that we went into, filled with water spirits, uh, all kinds of beautiful awakenings. For me, the most powerful underlying energy was the idea of priestesses, the idea of reaccessing the sacred reality of who you are. And so when we get to do ceremony together, when we get to connect with these divine other healers or places that I find, we went into so many times, very consciously, very aware, very protected, cleansing, clearing, sound healings, all kinds of transmissions and sacred experiences. You can see a little bit of my altars left. I've been packing them. I'm sitting in the middle of all this gorgeous things. I've got a new owl whistle as one of my sound healing tools. I do a lot of sound healing. This is my jaguar who's been with me from the very, very beginning after I came here eight and a half years ago. And the jaguars was like, oh, guess what you're doing? And now I've had so many jaguar initiations, spirit guide initiations, uh, and I've really had a powerful experience connecting with a, another jaguar woman, uh, a, a younger woman, but she's um, She's not a grandmother like old in her physical body. And she's just completed going through the grandmother tradition here. And her name is Quetzal Ocelo, which means grandmother, um, which means Quetzal is a sacred bird, jaguar in Aztec. So we found many, many connections, synchronicities. We uh, felt a heart connection, a soul connection through our children, through our experiences with pain and loss with, with children and with being a mother and how it's taken us deeper in our sacred journey. We have a dolphin connection. We have an Egyptian connection and of course the Mayan connection. So I want you to be aware that this has been happening. You and all of us are going through this portal because we are being led on our path to what we would normally call in the past 
the sacred synchronicities, the guidance, the miracles, the magic. This is norm. I want you to not expect it and crave it and be disappointed if it isn't there, but be open to every step, being in the breath of Gaia, being in the arms of the beloved, being the one who is watched, who is waited for, who is loved, who is supported, because that's the truth of who you are. It's the truth of who we all are. And this incredible opportunity to walk with these sacred women, to see them each go through all of their deep things, not everything, but go into the deep, deep things that are, um, our shadow, you might call it. Excuse me, I realized I don't have on my other headset, so you're probably hearing my clinking. Move that. And so this energy is offered to you today from here. One of the things that my logical brain said is, well, one, I shouldn't stay and get home and all the rest. And the other one was, you know, how do I do this live stream? So we moved the time a little bit and um, we had to keep adjusting the time because nobody understood what time we were in. It was really weird. We were literally still in no time. Chris and I changed the time three times on the platform and then Donna had to come in this morning and fix it again. So that's part of being in flux when you're truly walking the path of your spirit awakening and your past dying. You are Re, being reborn moment to moment, and you can step out of where you've been and into that freedom. So one of the things we were gifted with was now you just step out, you just walk out, like like you're in a in a cocoon, and the end of it just opened up like that, and you just are like, oh, you stand up tall, you embody who you've become, and you are reborn. You just walk out. You don't need to know anything when you're born. You're, you are surrendering to the past ending and the beginning. And we were literally reborn out of the earth, out of the underworld, out of our shadows, out of our deepest emotions. Um, and everyone who came went through their things and got exactly what was optimal. And they're still in the magic. So one of our beautiful guides said, please stay in the magic and don't try to figure it out, which I'm always telling you. I was like, yes until at least three days after returning to your regular world. There's a transition for me. It takes much longer than that. And this is my way of beginning to weave back into the world, the 3D world, connecting to you, because I find it almost impossible to be the sacred guide, to be the shaman, to be traveling this, to be planning it, to be, to be in the moment, to be watching each of the people who come and seeing their transition and supporting it by either being there to be loving and catch them or to step back and let them emote and then step into their power and start to choose differently. And so being in who I am now, as I'm slowly yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, everybody had left. And so we were starting to really sink into just the softness of the beauty and the place that we are, uh, the Caribbean and the breezes. And then the full moon started to rise up over the beach as we were watching the sunset, because that's the beauty of the full moon. The sun and the moon are <laughs> right at the same time. They have that brief moment of those lovers who can kiss and see each other. And our sacred feminine receives all that light and those gold codes. So the sunlight isn't just full of the gold ray and all these codes for plants. Every single thing, the rocks, the trees, the leaves, the lizards, the cats, dogs, me, you, everything is receiving infinite amounts of gold ray energy. That's everything you need connected to your spirit and to create. And you're the one that brings that in. So make sure to take a conscious moment with the sun because today, is a lunar eclipse. That means that the sun is yourself and you can ask to download those beautiful codes that are optimal for you. Then the sun doesn't hurt you or burn you or, or whatever. It isn't like the fire element of spirit 
that transforms by burning away. And it is feeding you that fire to fill up your belly, to feed your light. Light in your belly, we talk about being your solar plexus being your power center. And yet what I see is it's your emotional center that is been hanging on to everyone else. So this particular full moon is very sensitive. And if you've been being triggered, which was one of the reasons we did this retreat right now, was to use the energies to help us even more amplify the sensitivity and the emotion and the tenderness of the heart and to let the deepest, deepest things come up. And the tendency is to rush to someone or to yourself and appease the pain. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Stop, stop. Don't cry. Don't cry. Come over here. Let's forget about it. No, no, no. I want you to embrace that deep, dark shadow that's coming up. Love it. Embrace it in loving arms. Be the wise part of you that is holding it because this is a south node eclipse, which is the past of your destiny. Your path is moving towards the north node from the south node. So it's past lives or past of this life or past patterns or past minds sets, you're shedding those. Well, we come here to the Maya land, one, to work with the land and the ancestors and to uh, and the waters and the sacred codes that are in there and the wisdom in the ancient temples and powers. And that number one deity, God, essence is the sun and it's Kuku Khan, which is the plumed serpent, which if you watched any videos at Chichen Itza um, and many other, the, the pyramids they haven't put together quite like that, they designed it so that on the equinox and a few days around it, it would look like he was coming down each of the layers of the pyramid, the nine waves of consciousness. And at the bottom was the, the head of the serpent. The head of the serpent is plumed because this is you returning to your spirit, opening your crown. The cacao opens your pineal, which is a pine cone, which is the thousand petal lotus, which is your crown, which is your ability to connect to all of your antennas to higher levels of consciousness, higher states of consciousness, places where you transcend the argument. You do not have to be distracted in the drama, that if it comes up, it doesn't mean you did anything wrong. So immediately interrupt the pattern of the voice that says, am I doing it right? Should I do it right? How do I do it? But what if, but what if? This is not the time for that. Mercury is going into retrograde. All right. This is called the shadow phase. Well, I love that as well because we've been going into the underworld. What do you do? You're going into your sacral. You're going into your secrets. You're going into your shame. You're going into your vows. You're going into your agreements. You're going into the biggest patterns that have ever been aware or unaware, hidden or unhidden visible or super, super friggin' visible. When will this end? I'm ready for out. The equinox that we've just had, open the doors for you to walk through and balance. And whether you think you did or not, get out of your head and say, okay, I did. I trust my spirit. One of the things that happened on our retreat was the last day of the inner goddess retreat, we went in the morning to a sacred Mayan site. And the whole way and the whole night, Ishel, the goddess of the moon and women and fertility, the rabbit, the symbol of fertility, always in her lap or somewhere near her womb. This is your ability to create. Your womb and your sacral is creative, not just physically making babies, okay? Expand the meaning and the understanding. This is abundance. As the wise woman, she's pouring the moonlight. She's constantly pouring the silver goddess ray. This is giving you that ability to reattune your heart to your own womb, to become the sacred channel of intuition and sacred feminine arts and sacred feminine abilities that we have all, men, women, and everyone alike, been repressed over, frayed to free. This is about freedom. The opening is like this. Here, there's no wall anymore. Don't sit there and wish you could leave the room. Don't sit there. The eclipse is going to another room. Make sure that you watch the show I did last week with Donna Stellhorn, the master astrologer. It's all about these eclipses. And it's not just right now. This is the first of a pair. The second is the solar eclipse. It's going to be a full one. And it's going to be really intense. It's going to have less uh, 
of the softness and sensitivity that we have here. So you're going on a bridge now, you're entering a portal now. The moon was rising over the Dolphin Lagoon and we're walking and we're seeing it. We're on the roof watching the sunset and the moon rise. And we can see the rabbit in the moon, which is the symbol of Ishelle. Now, as that happens, it's she's also the symbol of the rainbow. Well, what is a rainbow? It's seeing what's there but invisible to the eye. And that's the definition of manifestation. So she is the goddess of sacred feminine, rainbow light, being the bridge between the worlds, which is what you're doing now between the eclipses, okay? Be very conscious and aware of what you're doing and where you're going and what you're thinking. Not from fear, but from sink that foot into Gaia. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my beautiful body, for this beautiful sacred land, for all that I can release to her because she wants to eat your deep shadow shit. Okay, the next step, sending peace, receiving peace, letting the flow go both ways. A lot of the theme was both sides now, both sides now. Are you going to be the one that rises above this moment in time, this massive transformation and metamorphosis that is happening on the planet and be a part of one argument or another? Or are you going to rise above and be like a conscious guide to the transformation and the rebirth of our planet, of our culture, of our ability to be the creators, everyone individual creators, and creating as one. This is what we did in our group. Is it hard to be really intimate with other people when they're having a breakdown and you're having a high or you're having a breakdown and they're annoying you or poking your stuff? They're sacred teachers. So one of the reasons that this retreat is so intimate and we're, some of us are living together, you know, and then we're having all these things is that in that group energy, we get to be individual and seen. And then we start to see where we're projecting onto others. And then we start to see the group patterns of judgment or whatever. And where is that in us? And where are we projecting that onto others? And where is our truth in all that? And the balance of the equinox gave you wherever you were. And thank you if you were one of my sacred travelers, my sacred sisters. On the last day, Ishelle is talking and she's saying, okay, we're going to go here. She's also the goddess of the jaguar. You know how special jaguar Balam is to me. And the jaguar walks between the worlds is the perfect guide for this eclipse portal because it's going beyond death. It's going. And what my friend Donna Stellhorn said, the astrologer, is that eclipses are like leaving one room and going to the next period. The, the door shuts. The wall closes. You never go back to it. So what you are transitioning out of right now and the last week, because we feel these things. I, was, I got hit by these eclipses weeks ago wambo bambo infections everywhere here i'm like what is this i'm preparing why because i'm detoxing to be the guide to be the channel i'm detoxing and releasing the past because i no longer can carry that stuff and i go to a higher level and then i go to another higher level and then i shed and then i literally die and cuckoo Khan comes and says shed 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 and the sacred snake the rattlesnake here to the maya was sacred the pattern on the rattlesnake only here taught them exactly what they needed to do the measurement movement and measure all their science all their astrology their 26 20 whatever ca calendars their ability to prophesize through the future their ability to write to create perfect buildings that still stand aligned to astronomical things that we couldn't do today with our technology and our AI. These ancient cultures had things that need to be released the same way we do and had things that need to be reawakened. Maybe you were or remember a Mayan life or a Greek life or an Egyptian life or whatever it is or not. It doesn't matter because you carry codes. Everywhere you've been, you're leaving those codes and you're receiving them. When you go to higher states of consciousness, when you move through a portal like this, eclipse portal, Ishelle is saying, I'm opening the rainbow bridge. The rainbow bridge is also a name for your inner channel or central channel of light that takes you from being in this 3D to your higher self, okay, eighth chakra, higher self, whoop, up here, all the way into your I am presence, which is the highest conscious 
part of your light body, which goes out over a mile, which is the sacred geometry, like chakras and many other things that, right, ladies? that have the ability to activate you, to reconnect you, to disconnect you, so that you go to the new level because it carries your soul blueprint. It also carries your soul's patterns. Now, the South Node Eclipse means the past. What are we leaving behind? Things are completing. So like the ladies that jumped in and these retreat <clears throat> retreats, deep diving, Oh, we're having fun and delicious food, but then we have a goddess, a medicina, and a, and a cacao woman uh, come and not just prepare the cacao from her ancestors and in the caves, and we're rubbing ourselves with herbs, and we go through our whole initiation to be cleansed and protected, and then into the womb of the mother. And then, but that was just the first time. Then she came and made us food, and the medicine and the intention is in food, and we're eating it and ingesting it, and now the cacao is within our blood and we're connected and we're touching and kissing the dolphins and we're feeling the earth and the temples and all of these are becoming higher levels of sensory awakening that's available to all of us right now now you're going to be sensitive don't take it out on others if you see yourself projecting own it this is the time to take your power back so what are we doing going into the shadow we're not going there to be a victim we're not going there to be afraid we're not going there to attract negativity we're going there in our new power we're like inana we're shedding our skin and we're entering the underworld we're saying bring it on I know I have more that needs to be brought up from my mother or my father or, or my trauma with my body or my sexuality or all the things that have happened to all of us and all the lives that have had it. A south node eclipse means you will soon be eclipsed, cut off. You will be in a new room. You do not need to take some of that stuff. But if it comes up now and Mercury is in the shadow face and starting to go retrograde, and what does that mean? Mercury is our messenger, our intuitive pathways to the gods, meaning your higher self, your I am presence, your soul blueprint, your Akashic records, and anything else for me, Jaguar and Cacao and Ishel and other sacred energies. Uh, yes, Athena and Isis. You see Isis back here. Hi, hey, dudes. Our tortugas. And all of these guides. To me, my life is so rich because I worked and walked through the, my pain for decades and years, and I never felt good enough, and I never felt I would be free from it. And now I've not only lost everything and then made more and then lost it and made more from losing people and losing daughters and losing money to gaining more and more. And every time things fell apart, once I walked through the pain and let the new, that truth become known to me, the next truth was available. This is an acceleration right now. You can emerge through multiple multiple lifetimes through multiple possibilities. You can connect to lives and powers everywhere within you, with cross time, with cross space. There is no limits. Stop limiting yourself, please, please, please. These power moments can knock you down. And if you go into fear about it, then that's what you'll experience. Not because you can control it, you can't control how it's going to come out depends on what you just did, which is why I do my spiritual work every day. But it's not work. It's play. It's life. It's breath. I am one with the earth and the stars and the wind and my blood is one and we're pumping together, but I am individual because that's the purpose of you being here. And how can we move forward with your puzzle piece missing? We can't. So the divinity, the beauty, the power of this moment is so rich and deep. And since the fall, the prosperity grandmother, dream weavers have been coming and they've taught the prosperity magic class. And now we are moving into a very important phase. And I understand better why they insisted a month or so ago that I start a mastermind. I haven't offered a mastermind, which is weekly, um, small group uh, coaching, spiritual guidance, reading, healing, transformation. 
exactly intimately like we just did on the retreat, doing this with a group for six months. This is saying I'm ready for change. This is saying I step into the next path. This is saying I don't know how and what and why, which is why I know that if I walk with a sacred group, then I'm here to be supported by them. And I'm answering the call to be something for them. Because you might have been raised like I was to not feel good enough to want not want to ask and not express yourself. Or you might have a lot of the old fears coming up of being burned at the stake or or having your head chop off or being told you were stupid or or to this or to that or constantly being unaccepted or unseen or stolen from or lied to. Everybody has had it to some degree and it doesn't take away from your pain, but your pain is in the past. And the South Node Eclipse path says Let's leave the pain in the past because if you rise through the pain, if you walk through the shadow and look at Mercury supporting this shadow emergence that my divine women and my divine prosperity magic uh, manifesting mastermind is already taking shape. So please contact Donna. Please uh, look below. Hopefully we have a, a, a link to uh, setting a time with me. So Donna, if you could hear me, please make sure that in our email today and that below this video here, we have a link and please only do an appointment with me. Uh, this isn't a free session that uh, you want to come and get a healing. This is for me to meet you if you really feel that you're ready for a spiritual mentor, because I'm going to see through you and to you. I'm going to see the truth of who you are. I'm going to lead you to your potential. I'm going to love you and hold you and give you tools. I'm going to raise you up. I'm going to create a sacred space, a safe space, and show you how to do it too. I'm going to teach you magic or light body activations or healing every month, a special aspect of what's optimal for you. And you're going to get to come and say, what is going on for you? What is happening in this moment? Accepting. And you're going to learn a power of your own listening. It is not that I know better than you. It is because I have done this work for so long now, almost 38 years or so in this life consciously and in so many other lives that I've had the honor to connect to, whether I'm aware of what the life was or I just have scooped up that power of that energy again by going to Greece or going to Avalon like we're doing in the fall or Greece in May or coming here or connecting with certain women. The women who were called here as they were called were weaving a pattern and the grandmother prosperity, their prosperity grandmothers, uh, wisdom keepers, which I thought was an odd name at first, but they said, because we weave through time and space and we see that everything is eternal and infinite. And that's who we're going to be guided by, as well as all these other guides. So the sacred a serpent has the movement and measure, the pattern. And the pattern is this. Life is this up and down. And right now we're seeing this more and more separation. People becoming more angry about this, more conflict and you can see and sense in your heart, If are you going to be called into your heart more? It isn't on one extreme or the other. Both sides are here now. If you create pure love, there is pure hate. I'm not saying you're full of it. I'm saying you are the master that can choose where your focus is. What are you going to be the channel for? Are you going to continue to clear that? Are you going to free yourself of those sensitivities that make you hurt by what everybody says to you? Or are you going to be here, the true allies? the shaman, the wisdom keepers, the uh, jaguar medicine women like me that see through it and call you forward. I love you and I need you to step up now. I need you to step into this. Use this shadow phase. Mercury then begins to move direct on the 1st and uh, of April. Oh, interesting, right? So this is that phase where it's sort of slowing down. And to me, it adds a little bit of that rocking energy. And we got a lot of that through our divine mother. We just went into the mother and came out and got the mother love and got the cacao love and got the sacred healings from the, the sound healers and the beautiful women healers that came and just all these different experiences coming together. And then each of these women bringing their own wisdom and their own 
past pain or whatever. And then each person adding to the whole while leaving and transforming and transmuting. And now we're spinning out like a, a star or a galaxy beginning to form in these spirals. And each of, each of these women that are going out from this, this is what the mastermind is going to be like, but it's going to give you a transformation uh, from uh, March 29th and whenever you want to join in April, we'll be doing the private sessions. You have uh, the course on emotions, mastering your emotions in any situation. You have the chakra upgrades and you're going to begin with an inquiry. So you can begin any moment and then we're going to have group calls every Friday that have a, uh, a con safe container. And in between, you can contact and talk with your sacred uh, sisters and brothers maybe <laughs> who knows who's going to be called to this so this is a beautiful time to take a deep breath in and let me see interesting so you should be able to see me here. And we're going to have a brief transmission as I am in the unfolding. However, I can tell you that I have really profoundly seen the transformation that happened for me, even integrating by staying here last night. So when I tell you don't travel on the e eclipse, um, I believe this is a very good idea in general. And yet there I was planning that. And when I got here to this moment, the energies required something else. So there's something that I'm integrating and receiving from the land, from relaxing into, from slowly bringing down and dismantling the altar and the energies. And woo, I had every form of smudge, smoke, and you name it going here yesterday because everybody you know, released and shed so many layers, shed, 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 shed. I love Kuku Khan. He's been with me during even uh, literal shedding. And we had some people, you know, shedding their skin and everything. So is this ever going to move? Thank you. <laughs> so join me at anacostia.com. Make sure you subscribe here. Hit those notification boutones because I want you to know when I go live and, uh, I always want to do more with you while I'm on retreat. And yet it is so important for me to listen to spirit, to be in this moment, to be in the present moment. And this is the other thing that has been happening for us is the sacred grandmothers have been showing us how to build your own peaceful, powerful, purposeful, prosperous, present moment. That means step out of other people's conversations, step out of the distraction, give yourself more time with yourself, with your body, with earth, listening. If you don't have time at all during the day for even five minutes, and if you don't have at least an hour for you and your spirit, then you are living someone else's agenda and life and you're missing this opportunity. And it is uber, uber, uber important because when you're in the present moment right now, my ladies know I said it enough. And the last day it was so powerful because all the work they did and all the transformation that happened and all the times I had to be like in there helping them through something and then standing away and watching them, you know, go through their pain and struggle and seeing the power within them and seeing it and then empowering them because I'm seeing their power and I know they can do it instead of trying to like, woo, stop it. Okay. Don't do that to yourself, lovingly accept, and then see what is the best thing for me in this moment. Is a little bit of ass kicking? It is a, come on, let's pull up our big girl panties and stand up? I don't know. The Libra full moon is very loving. Uh, I have a Libra moon, and it means that you like to please people. It's also about balance. It's also about um, the other side of wanting to please people is wanting to judge people. So it's a partial lunar eclipse, which has that sense of not quite completely cut off and that cut off with the self and the emotions. But think about it as an opportunity that that moon is taking away from you, eclipsing you from energies in your emotional field you don't need anymore and you really don't want to take into the next room. Okay. We're also still in the dragon year and it's still about new growth and it's big and magic. The south node, like we said, is the past. 
It is the destiny completed. With Mercury going retrograde, it's very much about thinking and reviewing and renewing and releasing and so on. So really go into that. Endings, sheddings, rebirth. Just like we've just done as a group physically and we're going to be doing each month for the next six months for the mastermind. Now, it's important uh, if you're interested in the mastermind, uh, contact Donna because we have to talk. It's the most important thing that we come together and I see and feel and we know that this is the right path because you want to be walking in a path, not like you're good and you're not. Are you aligned to where we're going right now? And if you feel called, you most likely are. However, I want to feel you. I want you to feel me so you can see how we're going to be walking this path because I go with you. I'm a shaman in the shamanic tradition and the mystery school tradition where I see, I travel, I work with those through time and space, and I'm the, I am the Akasha. So I have a multiple ability to vision and to travel with you to see what's happening, to help you clarify what's happening, and to help you walk through, be in your own shadow. So you find the power and shed what isn't important. So this is also can you let it go if something is triggering you or you watched it trigger you while you were going through the last period of time? Can you let it go? And does it mean like, oh, I'll just forget it and not care, but I'm really carrying it? No. Can you actually drop it, not carry it, hand it to spirit, give it to your angels, whatever you think? Harmony is important right now. And to me, Libra is on one side about harmony. Finding harmony and balance within is the most important thing you can do. So relationships with self, with past, with others, with body, uh, letting go of the judgment, walking out of that past pain, the past stories. We had so many different healers come in after I would say it and the dolphins would say it and then one of our healers would say it. It was like, tell a different story. Walk out of your old story. So please do that. And Again, one truth has to be learned and embraced. So when you avoid the pain and avoid the past, judge yourself for having any struggles or fears instead of learning from it, listening to it, being empowered by it, get the scars and walk through it, embody it, totally stick it and come out the other side. Okay, so the I am, the retrograde, we're listening within, we're receptive to the inner self, you're walking towards this path. Now this is amplified by the full moon. And this is a portal to the higher states of consciousness, okay? So this rare opportunity is that you are in a metamorphosis within a metamorphosis, and you're in a portal within a portal within a portal. And those of you who have been going through with me and really walking this path, know that you're in a cocoon, you're in a metamorphosis, and we're exiting that at the in the April one. And you are here to listen to your own inner wisdom and carry it to be your guide. Okay, now um, I had hoped that we would uh, be able to see uh, the poster for the next time, uh, but I'm doing another one. And maybe Donna, you can put it up. Um, put the next show up. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, so I have a few minutes, they said. Okay, so I'm going to take you in to a, a small transition, transmission. <laughs> um, hmm. Yes, so it's about being redirected and judgment of others in situations over how things are done and being upset and distracted when you're somewhere sacred or somewhere beautiful or somewhere significant and you're distracted by, you know, why are they doing this or why isn't this like that or whatever. And you know, you're always there with your own fears. You're always there with your own things. I have some pyramids here that are wanting me to, um, I'm not sure if you can see them here wanting me to create a specific space. So I'm surrounded by all of our um, altar things. Let me see if I can, I can see, um, <laughs> see here. Uh, I'm packing up. I have the whole place. I bring bags and bags and bags of crystals and statues and, and things. So some are still up 
and many, many are down. And I love that I'm just sitting right in the middle of all of them. Uh, uh, I smudged, God, I used the Palo Santo, Rosemary, Copal, White Sage, and I had a bonfire in here yesterday uh, for all of us to, to cleanse everything that we've completed uh, and everything that is ready to be rebirthed, of course, for the next people coming in here, we uh, close our portals uh, and have our open yet unbroken connection to all that is for each of us to carry on our own way. So one thing is to remember everything we've talked about and then let go. So finding harmony in this particular space is very much about trust because the past, if this is about the past, you don't have to try to complete the past. You have to be willing to let it go. Trying, figuring it out, working at it, efforting it. None of it is required. Hi, Maureen. <laughs> Hi, Court. Oh, blessings, beautiful pregnant goddess. Blessings. Thank you so much for being one of the carriers of these new one of the conversations we had was, isn't it amazing to watch our children or grandchildren or other people, the ones being born now um, are coming into a pretty intense time. And yet my kids are 27 right now, my twins. And yet they're coming in with a, a freedom from a lot of this stuff. And yet we're the wise ones, even if you're younger, that are coming from an era they won't know and won't remember. And it's not so we remember the pain, it's so that we understand we hold wisdom from having gone through certain things that no one else will ever go through again. We are the wisdom keepers. We are the ascended masters and priestesses and holders of the sacred keys, the sacred understanding that life is eternal, that we create again and we create again and we have to let the old go. So we're seeing more divorces or more extinctions in the, in the natural world because we're moving faster. We're moving faster through relationships. We don't need lifetimes and lifetimes. We're doing it now, 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 now. And it's exponential right now. Hi, Priya. You don't need to know anything when you're born. And you don't need to remember anything if you don't lie. And I'm, and of course to others, but I'm not saying tell everybody everything. They don't need to know your stuff. It's not lying when you just keep your own information. Uh, but don't lie about to yourself. And the, the lies, um, the hidden shame, the judgment uh, of self and others and, and triggering and these deep, these are the kinds of things that have been swirling and coming up here and coming up everywhere. So you're, if you're having that, when you're holding life, like you're birthing a business or a company or a new Oracle card, <laughs> um, or we, it was so fun, we got to play with our new Oracle cards here. Whenever you're having the opportunity to move into a new creation, you're gathering the energies right now. And the more you are present in this moment, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a deep breath in and feel it wind, feel it come up both nostrils, feel it like Ida and Pingala, masculine and feminine, winding up, opening that inner eye and down the back, let it go soft, 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 releasing, releasing, releasing. Breathe in again, again, feel it going through that center of the brain where the two halves are, where they connect, where the equinox was allowing you to go back and forth. This is your all seeing eye. Now blow it out through your third eye, through your forehead, out into your world, like you're gently blowing your breath, your wind, your truth, the breath of your spirit, your soul, and it's going out into the sunlight in front of you. Take another breath in, feel it coming in your belly, coming in your womb, coming in through your root, all the way up through your heart, through your hands, through your arms, through your throat, through the bridge, to your pineal and out. Radiate, blow it up through the crown.
dolphin breath out. Put your intention, your willingness. I'm willing to be free. I'm willing to be me. I'm willing to shed. I'm willing to review. I'm willing to receive. I'm willing to release. Now relax and feel that breath circulating within you. Wherever you feel tension in your body, roll around. I invite the full moon, divine shell, the fertility and abundance of the divine rabbit, the ancient wisdom throughout the planet and the rocks and the stars and the crystals, and that part of me that held the codes to this divine moment. I know there is a part of me, there is a priestess. A priestess is a woman living a sacred life. Whether you were trained in a particular path, a particular healing, a particular method, whether you went through the mists into a different reality in Avalon, whether you learned the mysteries in the left eye of Horus or the ancient schools of Isis or here with the ancient Maya or in Peru, Hawaii, across the planet, sacred schools, in other planets, in Sirius, in the Pleiades, in Aldebaran, in Orion, through Orion, the belt is a gateway. Do you travel every night to the wisdom schools that you were? Are you being invited back? to that sacred path or to this. Now feel yourself gently being rocked. Come down now and bathe. Come with me to the jungle. See the sacred women dancing. See us around the fire. Our goddess cooking us medicine food on the fires our sacred masculine guide creating the structure with the cuencos, with the crystal bowls, with the Mayan bugle, it's a didgeridoo, with the drum, all the rattles, the cacao now entering your body, you're in the cave with the candles, you're here with us. Shed the old, swim now to the center of this sacred cave in the womb of the mother and look up. The full moon is shining down on you, on your face. Receive this transmission now. In this sacred shadow place, as I mock my transformation, I accept all who I have been and all who I have become. I accept that I am completing and that it is vital for my power, for my reclamation, for my sacred feminine to rise again, for me to stand and accept all I have been, to feel more confident, more conscious, more creative. I no longer need to see, I no longer need to know. I trust in the divine and I let go. I let go into this sacred moonlight poured upon me, caressing my face, the divine Ishal kissing my forehead, the divine sacred serpent shedding the blocks within my crown, within my eye. I have within me a new rattle, a new level of my crown chakra. It has already been perfectly created. It is ready to connect. Shed, shed, shed now. Absorb, receive. Divine kisses from your own I am presence, from the top of your head to your forehead, down your nose. Your mouth and your chin, your throat, your higher heart, your heart. You feel the divine kiss 
of this full moon. And there is a wall here in the solar plexus. This eclipse is for you. We are cutting you off from these emotions of toxic past. If you are spinning, if you are passing out, if you are receiving these, if they're moving through you, breathe. Breathe. Let the powers that be move through. Protection, divine. Protection. Thank you, ascended masters. Why in and in, mother, I am here. Divine essence of my soul, I am here. Divine Balaam and Jaguar, I am here. I am here. I am here. I am shedding. Kuku Khan, take it now. Release it from me. I no longer wish this limit, this heaviness. I embrace these energies. They do not spin me. They empower me. I ingest the poison because the poison is no longer toxic to me. I'm raising my frequency. I'm absorbing the sun, the light, the gold, the silver. I free myself and I walk out free. I free myself. Thank you. I receive. I receive. Let the divine within you awaken and take over. Thank you, Mercury, for revealing, for whispering. I now Retrace, review, remember, rewire, rewrite. This past, the story is done. I now accept all that was, all that is, and all the power I have and had, all the wisdom I have gained. I accept, I love, I relish. I savor and I enjoy all that I have been from the pain and the joy, from the success and the failure. It is all one. It is the elixir of my divinity. I release now as the divine circle of the feminine comes. And now you are kissed upon your sacral and your root and your feet. Your earth star opens and you shed shed openly the past, the pain, the south of the soul, the past lives that no longer need to hide, to be limited. This is not the time to hide anymore. You know you are here for your strength. Embrace it, receive it. I am that I am. I reclaim my power. I accept these kisses of love, this divine download. I accept all that is releasing, even if it feels fearful, because I trust and I believe. I trust and I believe. I trust and I believe. And so it is. And so it is. And so it is. Accept this. Walk in this all day. And between now and the next eclipse, receive these kisses, swooning with toxins or with love, with enlightenment or exhaustion. Accept all that comes up within you. Be the channel for it to leave. Do not judge it. Do not hate it. Do not hang on to it. Do not argue with it. Do not deny it. Do not keep it. Let it go. Accept. Thank you. Accept. Thank you. Accept. Thank you. 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 The new heartbeat of the mother is beginning to come from within you. You are going to the deepest point. Now, feel it, walk out.
of what was, do not judge it, simply, ah, I see, and so it is, ah, so it could be, and so it is, and so it was, and so it could be, and what else, and this, and something next, and better, and bigger, and open, what is possible for me now? It is all in the circle of life. I am eating my own food. I am ingesting my own power. I am shedding the shell, the limits, the past, the pain, the parents, the programs and the patterns and the shades that have blocked my vision. So it is, thank you, Sister Jaguar. Thank you, it's a papotle, our beautiful butterfly, Jaguar, goddess of endings. With your sharp obsidian wings, protect me and cut me free. I trust and believe I am in the right moment at the right time. And when I am, the present moment opens into an expanse a rich, deep reality with everything I need. Open your hands and receive. Everything is here. Put it in your heart and I receive it. Put it in your heart and drink it in. Put it in your heart and accept it. No thinking, just feel it, drink it, receive it. The silver, the gold, the sun, the moon, and now the eclipse. I let go, I no longer need, I trust and turn and flow, turn, let go of control and enter your flow, let go of control and enter your flow, rebirth into the new room and let the divine guide you on the rainbow bridge in front of you. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dear mother, dear prosperity grandmothers, Ishal and Kuku Khan, Balam, all of our divine guides and angels, all those and Archangel Michael. Thank you to the Ascended Masters, to Metatron, Melchizedek, and both. Thank you to all of the divine guides and healers that have come together to usher in the new path of my reality, my work, my medicine, all of those divine goddesses who came with us and everyone that we will touch, every path that we will walk. And thank you to every one of you. Receive, believe, trust, flow. We give great thanks for this beautiful transmission, this moment. I accept. My wish is granted, and so it is. May this circle be open, yet unbroken, and this divine energy be one with us. See it and project it. Gift it where you go. Know that there is nothing and no one that can take it from you or keep you from it if you truly allow yourself to stay in your own peaceful, powerful, purpose-filled, prosperous present moment. So as you come back, I am going to complete and I look forward to seeing you and working with you. If you are interested in this very special Prosperity Magic Mastermind, please come and contact us. Donna will show you how to connect. And I'm going to be doing something, but my computer won't show me <laughs> the slides now. Uh, coming very soon. So uh, they're slowly appearing. Let's see if we have it. And the next step was to share with you, if you would like one moment. Here we go. Thank you, Donna. I have someone here to help me finish packing and um, pack up the car. And 
I love the sacred space that you've shared with me, that I've been able to be a conduit for from what I've experienced. What I love about working virtually or in person is that I transform. I get to be a part of these opportunities, these plat platforms. I'm going through my own shamanic transformation, my soul upgrades, upgrades, and now I have a new level of energy. Then all of the divine goddesses who work with me in these circles and groups and retreats, they have added to that, like the weaving of the grandmothers. And our last rebirthing was with a beautiful man who said thank you to all of us and really saw us as we were rebirthing in the water to these vibrational gongs, it was incredibly powerful. And I literally shed a layer I have never been free from. And I emerged completely new. And what I loved about what he shared was when we opened our eyes, he saw us, he was like, wow. And then he thanked us because he said, we need more sacred feminine energy in the world. And I believe this is true. And I appreciate being seen. And I appreciate all these women for being willing to be seen. And I appreciate you for being on this path. So one day coming soon, we're going to be doing the Goddess Empowerment, Sacred Feminine Freedom and Transformation. Here's some of our group uh, at the Sacred Pyramid, one of the sacred sites. One of the things I was starting to tell you was <clears throat> that we were instructed to go to Aishel's site. We got there and they were doing construction and closed it. And then we were instructed to go to a different pyramid. And we did some activations with the pyramid to Egypt portals to other places. And this is a sign of you've done your work. You've uh, ascended to the next level. You've graduated. You've been given a scholarship. Now please go to a whole different reality. It was a different type of Maya, everything. And these are a few energies I'm going to leave you with from our beautiful ceremony. You can see the alligator in the background. And we were getting our hands cleansed with not just copal, but with eucalyptus. You can see this divine alligator, the jaguar behind. We were in the temple of Shibalba. Uh, we had the eagle and the butterfly and the bat and the jaguar and all of these different sacred uh, spirit guides, animal guides. Here you can see them. So these energies are for you. And this is one of our rebirth things. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave you with this. This is Michelle, our goddess who cooked for us twice and and created the cacao for us. And you can see maybe the jaguar spirit right next to her and some of the light beings in that. So thank you everyone, namaste. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you for taking these energies with you. Hi, Brittany, I'm so excited to see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, love you, Nan. Thank you, Maureen, beautiful. Thank you for this transmission. You're so welcome, Priya. Hi, Strax. Uh, oh. That's a, a bot. Thank you for nothing. Uh, there we go. And uh, namaste, everybody. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Whatever you're doing today, remember, this is a very important energy. It's going to continue. I'm heading back to create more transmissions for you. And we'll be coming together live more and more and more. Namaste. <sighs> going to try my new owl. I do a lot of sound healing. I have many, many instruments. I realize you probably don't know that. And uh, this is a new one for me. So let's see what our wise owl is saying. <laughs> Clearly I have to learn how to play it, right? <laughs> Well, we got a little bit of that at the end there. Namaste.